Hey guys, I just wanted to share uh, an idea I had for a soldering fixture. Um, you know, we've been here in the shop, we've been um, drilling over uh, Voltal's uh, professional soldering fixture. And it looks amazing, it looks really good, uh, but unfortunately it's a little bit a little bit out of our budget, you know, for, I think it's around 460 something dollars uh, for their top top line uh, soldering fixture. And uh, you know, for years we've been using, uh, I guess it's ferries or allied um, uh, uh, soldering fixture, and and and, and they were, and it's a good fixture, uh, but it tends to rust up on you if you don't, if you're not on top of it, you know, cleaning it and oiling it, and you know, stuff like that. And sometimes in a production shop like we're at here, um, it just doesn't happen. You know, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't, uh, and you try to stay on top of it, but it doesn't happen all the time. Uh, so anyways, I want to show you guys what I came up with. I, 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 try, I was trying to match something that was as close to Volta's uh, soldering fixture uh, on a budget. So uh, I'm going to change the camera position here so you can get a better look at it. And uh, so let's, uh, I'm going to show it to you guys and see, let me know what you think. All right, so this is, this is my idea. This is what I came up with. Um, don't laugh, I know I have these big giant Tyrannosaurus Rex jaws. Ah. But uh, hear me out and see what you think. Um, all right, so what, what I first, first what I, what I thought I would do is I would look for a stand that looked and felt and, 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 uh, and worked the same way that Voltiles would, would, uh, would work. So um, this is pretty much, I mean, obviously it's not exactly like theirs, but it, it pretty much is um, adjustable the way theirs is, where you can move it up and down and forward and backwards, and then it'll tighten up as you as you turn the knob in whatever position you want. Um, and so what I did is, instead of having a plate where it would have several holes or maybe a, um, where the, the stands were... Uh, soldered or welded onto the plate and, and you couldn't move that other than just this I decided to do something that was you could move completely around uh, as you can see right now you can't move them and I'm putting a lot of weight on this and these are actually magnets and uh, the this this is actually a dowel indicator stand for, um, and the brand is Noga I'll see if I can show you here a little bit see if I can zoom in here uh, focus focus Okay, maybe I can't I can't focus in that that close, but anyway, the brand is Noga, N O G A, and I believe the company is out of Israel. Um, but these are very very good um, uh, dial indicator stands, and um, you know they have these the switch where you can go from off to on, and when you switch it on, um, the magnet activates. So I, I guess it just lowers. And it, and it's very very firm. So this is co the cool thing about this is that I can move it around in any position that I want, get it close or further, uh, and then lock them down. And it, and it isn't going anywhere. Um, but the cool thing about the stand is that they have this fine adjustment knob. Both of them do on the bottom. So as I turn it, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but they're lowering and raising very slightly. So you can do a fine adjustment as you get, you know, you always get real close to the part. And as you're getting there and you're just, just slightly off and you're trying to tap it to move it into position, you know, how, you know how that goes. And it just, you never quite get there. But with this, you can get really close and then you can just find, find adjusted. You just turn these knobs and, and you can get it in closer and further. And then this plate that I just got, um, you know, you get this at Lowe's. I think I paid like nine or ten bucks for it. And it's just a really sheet, uh, a really thin sh uh, piece of um, sheet metal. And I just wanted to get something that the magnets would stick to. And then I just, I, uh, you know, drilled it to my bench. And I think I'm gonna probably use uh, some of this tape to go around the edges and cover up the screw so it doesn't scratch any instruments or whatever. And all this is is uh, tape that you use. It's like a cloth material tape, and it's used for like fixing books and stuff like that. I think they use it also for um, on movie sets where they're trying to tape down the cables and stuff like that. Maybe concerts and stuff like that. Anyways, you can get this online. Um, 
So that, that's just an idea that I had. And so I and I know the jaws, you know, they're they seem to be pretty barbaric, uh, really big and everything. But um, barbaric, sorry, that's what I was trying to say, barbaric. Um, but but you know, I mean, you could use your own clamp. You know, this is just my idea. This is, I wanted something like a vise, and I also wanted something that would open up to at least you know to to about an inch. You know, because not not only was I going to use it for woodwinds, which is the majority of the stuff that I do. Um, but I wanted the guys in the shop also to be able to use it for brass, maybe maybe hold a, a, a tube, you know, something that they're going to solder on. One of the guys here is always doing uh, where they break the knuckles off of trombones, uh, trigger trombones. And so he's, he's always having to hold a little bit bigger parts on there. So this would allow you to hold a bigger part if you need to. And, 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 and if you wanted something that was you're afraid it's going to scratch or mark you know, the finish, you know, maybe you could file these down and, um, and you know, tap a couple of holes on there and then maybe screw on a uh, brass, a little, little piece of brass on either side so it doesn't uh, scratch your, your, you know, the finish. I don't think it will. I mean, you're not going to be super clamping down on this. It's just, um, just to hold it into place. Um, and all this was, all these clamps were, were um, let me see if I can get the handles. Um... They came in these handles. You can get them at um, McMaster's, and they were like eleven dollars. So uh, let me just show you. They were kind of like this, and so I just pulled them out. They popped right off because this was actually like a wedge, and they just popped right off. So uh, and then I just kind of filed it down on a. Well, I used a grinder to get it, to get the bigger part of the material off, and then I used a file to get it close. Um, and then that's it. I just stuck them in here and tied it up, and you're good to go. Um, uh, so, anyways, the stands I got them on. I think I got them on eBay. Um, these are really, really good stands. Like I said, normally, um, you know, for a nice stand, um, they they probably run about 170, 180 dollars. Uh, but I found these on eBay because uh, they're a little bit different. The other ones are more, uh, they're articulated arms, and this is more of a, a mechanical where you actually have to tighten it and, and move it around. Um, so these were, I think, like $44 or $45 each, something like that, $48 each. So for under 100 bucks, you pretty much have the majority of your setup. And then $11 each, these were $11 each. So, you know, right, right a little bit over $100. You know, including the sheet metal, um, you you have a pretty decent, I think, soldering fixture. Uh, you have, and I made it big like this because I wanted to, just in case I didn't. You don't have to use two. I could put it to the side, and maybe I have a instrument here, and I need help holding something in place, and then I can use this to do that. You know, or or if I need more, you know, I can always get a third or a fourth one, and just kind of move it around. I mean, everybody's situation is different. Um, but anyway, so this is my idea <laughs> for for what I think comes close to a uh, volatile soldering fixture. Maybe not. Maybe you have a different opinion about that. But either way, you know, I mean, comment. Oh, look, I, I forgot to show you guys. This is what I. This is um, this is the other soldering station that I was talk uh, fixture that I was talking about. You know, I think this is from Ferries Relight. I'm not sure. I'm sure you can probably get it somewhere else online too. But th this one's just completely, you know, gone. And this is like our better one here in the shop. One of them's already missing an arm. And, and the bad thing about this, you know, even though it works really well, it holds everything really well, uh, the, the two downsides I see is it doesn't open up big, wide enough. So you're only, you're limited to smaller parts. And... Um, oh, and so if this does happen to rust up on you, I mean, this is all one piece. These jaws are one or one piece. They're, they're, the other part of the jaw isn't, but once that's gone, that's it. I mean, I mean that, that arm is pretty much gone. I'm sure you can probably go online and probably order another arm. Uh, but what I like about this, you know, the, this, these threads are a little bit more coarse than these. These are fine. So it's going to be harder to, for these to rust up on you. And if they, it does, you know, it's $11 to replace that whole section. And, and then we also have, you know, the little uh, tweezer type 
and this is okay too, but it, this is very, very limited as well, you know, you can't, you can't, uh, you're limited to where you can position it and, and how heavy your piece can be, you know, and this tends to kind of tip over. So, you know, that's pretty much what we've been working with here in the shop for years, and I just got tired of uh, having to mess with that and decided that I wanted to do something a little bit better. So anyways, this is what I came up with. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, maybe you have a better idea for a clamp. You know, I wanted something like a vise uh, and nothing like a little you know, tweezer or, or a small clamp. Um, I know it looks kind of bulky, but I think it can it can hold small parts as well. You know, I mean, you put them in the corners or, you know, and it also, this also has like little V-slots in there so you can hold rods or whatever. So, I mean, I think it's a... It's a start, anyways. Uh, I'm, I'm, pro I'm gonna. I think I, I'm gonna change these. Uh, so instead of having a the wing nut, I want to have something like an aluminum a nut. You know, nice big one where I can turn it instead of doing this, uh, and it'll be like knurled or something like that. So maybe on the next video, I'll, I'll show you how I do that. Um, and so that that'll be a probably change I do, and maybe I'll mess with the jaws. I'm not sure yet. I haven't really. Uh, started using it yet um, so we'll see uh, if if you have any ideas as to uh, maybe how to improve this or maybe you like it maybe you don't uh, you know make some comments on it and uh, it, it always helps it helps everyone to hear what your ideas are you know the more people chime in you know the more ideas we get and we, we, we can learn from each other so let me know what you think and that's it that's all I have for today and um, you know like I said probably in the next video you'll see me messing with these wing nuts. Alright, thanks guys.